we're going to Fantastic Books and where to find them. I started my channel about eight, nine months ago. I started, I believe, in mid-November and I finally decided I should probably do the booktube newbie tag. This tag was originally created by Brenda C and I probably should have made this like my first video or one of my first videos but I think I kind of wanted to test the water and see how it's going, see if it's definitely something I wanted to do and turns out it is something I do really want to do. Uh, we're at 130 subscribers now, we've got a cumulative amount of like seven, 8,000 views on the channel. I'm so so happy with the way everything's going and the way everything's working. So I thought it was a good time to get this done. So the first question we have is, why did you start this channel? I think it was the same kind of reason that a lot of people who do booktube uh, do this and it's probably because we just want to talk about books. Um, I discovered booktube for personally when I had read a book, I can't remember, I think it might have been A Court of Thorns and Roses, I think, and I googled to see about reviews and things and I just stumbled upon it and I was, you know, why not, I'd already watched a lot of gaming YouTube stuff and content and had already sort of delved into that a tiny bit really. So I, I watched it and it was amazing um, to hear this person talking about the way I felt about a book as well. I wanted to scream back, yes, I feel the same way about this book, it's amazing. Um, and I can, be, I can be quite a loud person, but I'm usually kind of a subdued person a lot of the time, unless you get to know me, then you can't shut me up. Um, and it made me wanna talk more if that makes sense uh, and to be louder and I did really think yeah this is something I'd really like to do but I didn't really have the courage to start with I think or think oh you know no one really makes booktube videos anymore that don't really do it if that makes sense or it was a very American thing I don't think I'd seen any British booktubers um, most ones I watched were American um, and most of my friends are American there are a few UK ones I like but I felt it was like a very American thing as there's no way I could do that sort of thing. So I just kind of ignored it for a bit. Then someone came in my pet shop and we got chatting and it turned out that she was a booktuber. And seeing this normal person, uh, this real person in front of me, who was also doing something they loved, just really helped spur me on. I went home that night, I wrote a script, the next day I filmed my first booktube video and here we are. That person knows who they are, I won't embarrass them um, by tagging them or anything. Um, they probably don't even subscribe, but if they do, then thank you very much. Thank you so much for leading me here. Second question is, what are some fun and unique things you could bring to booktube? This is a hard question, I think, in a way, because booktube is it's about opinions, I think, to an extent. Um, as well as talking and discussions and that sort of thing. So sometimes there's not always a hell of a lot new you can bring to it. I'd like to, I'd do a lot of different things. Um, I really like sketches, like comedy sketches, um, and I like writing them. It's only me, so I have no one to direct or anything, but I do like making montages and sketches and that sort of thing, and I like to do a lot of that. And I've got like a whole little series of them planned. Um, they're actually in the notes where I'm looking at right now, it's kind of reminded me. I have got one, already filmed that I just need to do some audio work for uh, and I'm really really excited about you guys seeing them and hopefully you'll enjoy them because um, that's really I mean I like I love reviewing and I love to my books that's the main reason I started this channel but I do really want to get into that as well and just do some you know you see like a funny video online about retail and it's if you're working retail you get it and it's funny and you really enjoy it I'm not very eloquent <laughs> that's why I don't blog so yeah, that's not necessarily something that's necessarily unique and new, but that's kind of what I want to bring to this, along with another opinion. Question three is, what are you most excited for about your channel? And it's kind of the same answer, really, but also I'm really excited about the community part of things. Um, the past eight, nine months, I haven't really been part of the booktube community because I've just kind of been doing my own thing here and there. Um, only really been at a schedule the past few months. I've been to a couple of conventions as a booktuber, spoken to a couple of people who also do that um, and starting to get to know people on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube who are also booktubers. Um, that's making me really excited to be part of that community as well instead of just sort of watching from afar. <laughs> question four is why do I love reading? This is probably the easiest question, yet the one that I can't think of an answer for. It sounds weird if I say it's the escape, but it's... <sighs> A lot of people like to travel, for example. That seems to be a thing. Apparently people really love to travel, go out and experience things. I am crap at travelling. I get travel sick. 
I overanalyze everything, I'm clumsy, I forget things, and I'm scared of new people and new things quite often. But when I'm reading, I go all these places, I experience these new things, I experience these emotions, and I know it's not the same, and it probably sounds weird, but for me, that's amazing. Like, if someone else is excited about going to the Bahamas, or travelling somewhere new that they've always wanted to go, and although I have that to an extent as well, mostly Disneyland, I kind of have that for books as well. I want to experience these lives. Books are that for me. And I love it, especially when you get a book and all the characters in it almost feel like your friends. I do play some video games, especially Mass Effect, one of my favourite games. And I am so attached to the crew in that game, I can't even explain. And I have the same feeling with a lot of characters in books as well, and these events that happen. And I sound like I'm crazy, but the experiences that you have while reading are real. Question five is, what book got you into reading? I can't remember. It's either Harry Potter or The Vampire Diaries. <laughs> I think it's Harry Potter. I think my best friend at the time got me to read Harry Potter. I think The Chamber of Secrets had just come out and she got me to read the first one and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I read another one and another one and another one and another one. And then I discovered the library at school. I worked in it a year later. <laughs> and I think it's then I found Vampire Diaries as well. And I loved Vampire Diaries. I loved Harry Potter and Harry Potter is going to be up there with the books that changed my life, the books I love, like they are for many, many people. But Vampire Diaries was probably... I wanted to write after reading Vampire Diaries, um, if that makes sense. And I felt a lot of emotion for Harry Potter. Vampire Diaries was a whole new level for me. Um, the first four books, the, we won't get into the ghost-written ones. Question six is, what questions would you ask your favourite booktubers? Wow, that's a big one. Um, how did you start? What did you start with? I'm really interested in what sort of equipment people started with because I'm having, I'm at that point now where I want to start getting better equipment. I record on my phone, uh, I want to get uh, lights, I want to get a decent camera, a microphone. Currently filming at my desk with my curtains open, hoping I can salvage the last of the light that we have outside. Um, because I haven't got a light or anything either. So I'm starting to get to that point where I want to start getting equipment. So I want to ask, what was what equipment did they start with? A lot of people start with, with things like webcams on laptops, which I think my first one actually was, and was terrible. Um, or phones like this. Uh, and then they have obviously, when was a good time to progress? What did you progress to? That sort of thing, like te boring technical questions. But then also, I'd like to know what their favorite books are and why, because that's, I love asking that question to everyone, what someone's favourite book is and why. Even if it's a book I don't like, I love hearing why people like that book. It sounds really weird. <laughs> I don't know if maybe it's because you can tell a lot about a person from their favourite book and their reasons for that, perhaps? I don't know. Maybe I'm just really nosy. Question seven is, what challenges of starting a booktube channel do you think will be the hardest to overcome? For me this is probably time. I have a two year old and I work part time as well. Uh, and also the fact that I have to at the moment work with the light. Uh, at the moment I currently have usually half an hour on a Wednesday morning to film. That's it. Today I've actually been really lucky. We've been out for the day, my little boy has gone to bed early. And I have some light left so I'm filming in the light. Um, so that is really, really difficult. Question eight is, when did you start reading? I think I've pretty much just answered that. I've always read as long as I can physically remember. I used to read the Biff and Chip books at school and anything else anyone would throw at me. Uh, and obviously the memorable books for when I started secondary school. Um, but yeah, as far as I'm aware. I mean, obviously I've not always read. I'm not that I'm aware of. <laughs> but uh, for as long as I can remember, pretty much. Question nine is, where do you read? Wherever I have the time to, really. Um, when I said about time being my biggest issue to overcome with booktube, I didn't just mean in regards to filming and editing, it's also reading, because obviously I need to read books to review the books, to talk about the books. Uh, to be able to really be able to buy books, I need to be able to read more books so that I can get through them. There's no point in me buying books if I'm not reading them. Although my TBR pile is getting huge. So yeah, I read wherever I can. I love to read on the sofa in the front room. I like to light a candle, put my legs up on the sofa, get comfy, have some biscuits and some milk ideally, and just sit and read. But I have a problem that if I sit still for too long, get too comfortable, I start to doze off and it drives me nuts. Cause like tonight, I think, oh, I've got 
evening to myself I can get my book finished or at least get a good way through it and guarantee half an hour through reading I'll start dozing off and I'll have to do something else um, maybe watch Game of Thrones I don't know why and it drives me nuts it's like my own body is trying to sabotage me um, I do read on my bed three two one mark I do tend to read in bed quite a lot as well I used to read first thing in the morning quite a lot I'd wake up really early not on purpose uh, and I think oh I'll just sit and read but now I usually have a two year old next to me, he's usually climbed into bed at some point. And if I wake up at 4am and read for half an hour, that's it, he's up at 4am and that's it for the day, he's, he's up. So, yeah, um, I don't really read in the car, for the purpose I don't really read. I managed about an hour in the car today and didn't feel sick, which was nice. Um, but other than that, I read wherever I can. Question 10 is, what kind of books do I read? I want to say, oh, I read a bit of everything, but I probably don't. I read mostly YA, because most of the recommendations I get are YA. Um, and I read mostly fantasy. I'm reading sci-fi at the moment and I'm still new really to the sci-fi genre book-wise. Um, I've not, not read sci-fi before but I'm, I've got like four or five books lined up that are all sci-fi related. So they'll be a bit new for me. Um, and I have started reading contemporary occasionally as well. Uh, I like them because they're nice and small, they're usually easy reads. Um, they don't have to get too invested in. You don't usually very often see a YA contemporary book that's like this thick. And I really enjoy that about them. So yeah, not as varied as I probably could be, but I think it's quite varied. I, re I read adult books as well, obviously. Uh, again, fantasy, sci-fi. Um, and I read, I call them fanfic books, but they're not really. Things like the Warcraft novelization for the film that came out, and then the Warcraft lore books I've been reading for years. Uh, the Mass Effect ones as well. And I read graphic novels. Uh, I don't know if you can see my graphic novel collection just here. And I have a couple of full boxes over there of all my single issues. I really need to catch up with Gem and the Holograms. <laughs> so yeah, I'd like to think there's not a huge, huge variety, but enough of a variety. Hopefully to keep things interesting. So that's all 10 questions. I have officially done my first tag video. Um, I don't have anyone to tag because I don't know any new booktube videos. But if you're watching this and you are a new booktuber, please feel free to do this tag. And even if you're not a new booktuber and you've not done, if you've not done it, do it anyway. That's what I did. I'm kind of seeing it as like a booktube coming of age sort of thing. So, so I'm going to grab some milk and some biscuits and try and get some reading done. So thank you guys all for watching. My name's Gemma. This is Fantastic Books and Where to Find Them. We have videos out at least once every Saturday, if not more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and drop me a hello in the comments. It's fantastic to talk to people. I love chatting in the comments. And if you really like this, you can subscribe. And if you really like this, you can press the little bell at the top and it will give you a notification whenever I upload a video. Until next week, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!